the ISB expansion drew more attention to the mosque, highlighting the fact that many of its leaders had ties to the Muslim Brotherhood. I think it starts with the fact that the, the, the first cue is, is that the person who wrote, wrote the foundational document implementing it was Abdurrahman Alamudi, who is the founder, or one of the founders of many of Muslim Brotherhood front groups in America, and is now in prison as an Al Qaeda operative. The mosque was founded by Abdul Rahman Alamudi, a man who the FBI had successfully prosecuted and put in jail for. Um, 23 years for uh, funding Al-Qaeda and for getting into an assassination plot with uh, Libya's uh, former president Muammar Gaddafi. He's the model for deception and this, this topic should be called deception because what they do is they come to you and they smile and uh, they tell you that we are precisely the kind of Muslims that America needs to bridge the cultural gaps. He was in both White Houses as an advisor. He got Clinton to give him the ability to choose which Muslim chaplains would be the ones that would operate in the army. So Alamudi is key and should be the poster boy of uh, radical Muslim penetration into American society. A number of investigative journalists, specifically those at the Boston Herald, began reporting on the ISB's connections to terror organizations and its radical teachings. But city leaders, especially the mayor, refused to acknowledge any of the information. If Menino had Googled, if he had spent three minutes Googling uh, who the people were that the money was going to, that the land was going to, that this base of radical Islam was going to be owned and controlled by, he wouldn't give them the mosque. He wouldn't even want them to get off the plane at Logan to come set foot in Boston. 